Hi, I'm Victoria Hargis, and I'd like to talk to you today about my desire to speak. It's kind of funny in a way, because a few years ago, you wouldn't have been able to get me to speak two sentences in front of a video camera, let alone an audience of people. But I discovered in the course of doing some personal development work that my young son, who I lost at the age of 13 from a seizure disorder that was diagnosed when he was three and a half, I discovered that my gift to the world in speaking is to share his message. Now, that was kind of hard to do for me because remember, I couldn't speak two sentences in front of a group of people. And I remember the first step of this journey was when I stood in front of a 20 foot firewalk, you know, 850 degrees fire going on barefoot. And I had to say two sentences. I had to talk about what I was trying to break through in my life and what I was working towards. Because I had felt stopped for years. When I found I couldn't say those sentences easily and that I was more afraid of speaking than I was of walking on a 850-degree firewalk barefoot, I decided it was time to start conquering that fear. And I began the journey that brings me to today. When I am setting out to speak to the world about grief and about my son's legacy. Not an easy journey by any means whatsoever. And in some ways, an almost impossible journey. And yet I'm here today to speak, not only in a video, but for anyone who wishes me to speak at their event. It's been a journey that has been filled with tears and anger and overwhelm and every other emotion you can possibly imagine. But my young son drives me to live abundantly and to share the message that he left with me. So if you need a speaker to speak motivationally, <laughs> I would be happy to share Davy's message with you. And that is, don't live your life in regret, but take action to live on purpose with passion today and every day. Contact information is below. Please contact me and I would be happy to speak with your group. Thank you. I am Victoria Hargis.